rear suspension setup that I'm using is called a triangulated three link or wishbone three link. It's got a single upper link and two lower links. The rear differential that I'm using is out of a Ford Explorer. It's a Ford 8.8. .8. It's offset to the passenger side slightly. The uh, reason I'm using it is it's got the rear disc brakes. It's a pretty strong rear end. It's a good alternative to a Ford 9 inch. And they're readily available at the local junkyard. So my triangulated three links using a super flex joint on the rear end and two bushings, energy suspension bushings up on the front. When I set up my lower links, I designed them to have the airbags about midway. This puts a little more weight on the airbags, which in turn gives you a slightly better ride. An important consideration when designing air suspension is your airbag alignment. You'll want your upper and your lower airbag plate to collapse on top of each other. You don't want them misaligned when you're aired out. That will really damage an airbag quickly. So when I designed this, I took this piece of pipe here and tack welded my upper and lower bag plates to it. Welded the bag plates in, cut the tacks out, pulled this out, and that gave me perfectly aligned upper and lower bag plates. My shocks when the vehicle is aired out are at a fairly extreme angle. When aired up, it's not so extreme. I'm thinking they're probably about 75% effective at this angle. Another very important consideration when setting up a reliable air system, fittings and thread sealant. I'd recommend using only DOT approved fittings. They'll be labeled as such somewhere on the fitting. Definitely stay away from the local hardware store fittings. They're notorious for leaking and that can get really frustrating. I use Teflon tape. I'll wrap about two times and then I'll add a liquid thread sealant over my Teflon tape and then I'll cover my liquid thread sealant with another thin layer of Teflon. I've had really good luck doing that, but make sure that you keep your thread sealant out of your inside airway passages. You don't want that stuff blowing downstream and getting lodged in your valve. Remember, Teflon tape is directional. You've got to wrap the same direction that you're tightening your fittings. There's an airbag tucked inside of that spring pocket right there. And you're going to want to make sure that your bag, upper and lower bag plates are aligned, but that you also have enough clearance around your airbag. I feel comfortable with quarter inch, not much less than that, through the entire suspension cycle. This is a Jaguar independent front suspension. I don't have front shocks installed yet. The Jaguar IFS clip is a complete unit that you can unbolt off the bottom of a Jaguar. I cleaned up all the original mounting brackets stripped it down. It did require some boxing in to get it to fit, but the width was ideal. I cut this out from here to make room for the airbag plate. And then I re it in it and boxed it all back in so as not to lose any strain. The inner frame rail is boxed in also. So it is possible to design and build a reliable air ride system. Just take into consideration where you run your airlines and your wiring, how you install your airbags, the quality of the parts that you use, and do your maintenance regularly.